the invention of the electric telegraph revolutionized railway signaling. For the first time, messages about the location of trains could be sent from place to place faster than the trains themselves traveled. This allowed for much safer and more efficient railway signaling. It eventually led to the development of the absolute lock system, which was the predominant form of railway signaling for over a century, and which will be examined in detail in another film. Initially, however, the electric telegraph was used to enhance the working of the time interval signaling system, and it is that enhanced system that will be examined in this film. This is a special type of railway policeman's cottage. It is fitted with telegraph equipment. Notice the large wooden telegraph post outside. These telegraph equipped cottages allow for signals in the time interval with telegraph working method to be built. However, they are more expensive to build than cottages without telegraph equipment, and the policemen are more expensive to employ since they must be literate to work the equipment. On plain track, the system is unchanged from time interval working. However, at junctions, the policeman can telegraph the next policeman along the line to check that the junction is clear. This means that the trains reserve the whole route to the next signal rather than just 875 meters ahead. Ordinary time interval signaling cannot be used on single track lines as the railway policeman cannot tell whether a train is coming in the opposite direction. However, with telegraph equipment, it is possible to communicate between railway policemen in what directions the trains will be traveling on a single track line, thus allowing single track lines to be used with a time interval method. To allow for single line working, use station signals at the stations, sidings or junctions at both ends of the single track section. With the block reservation display enabled, we will see that a special directional reservation, shown in blue, is created to the next signal protecting a junction. The train can then proceed along the single line according to normal time interval principles, safe in the knowledge that no trains traveling in the opposite direction will be approaching. Time interval signals without telegraph equipment can be placed at intervals along the single track section, and multiple trains can travel in a single direction along the line at the same time, separated by time in the usual way. This film has demonstrated the usage and applications of the electric telegraph in time interval signaling, an important intermediate type of signaling between ordinary time interval working and absolute block signaling. Watch the other films in this series to learn more about the other methods of signaling.